hello 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 good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone welcome to this channel my name is Ogbanje Joseph please please subscribe to this channel share like as well as drop a comment on the comment section so today we are going to be looking at electoral models we are looking at electoral models now um before we even talk about the electoral model let us look at you know electoral commission now what is an electoral commission an electoral commission is an institution set up to manage conduct and implement election procedures in a country now it is a body instituted by law to organize monitor and ensure that there is free fair credible and credible election now the electoral body is made up of people with proven integrity those who have a track record of excellence independence unbiased you know just and then must meet you know and they must meet okay they must not have soft spot for a particular political party so electoral commission must be seen to be and must indeed be an unbiased arbiter or umpire or spelling doom for or, or otherwise you understand in every election otherwise the polity will be heated up and that is capable of spelling doom for a country okay so now the following are actually you know the electoral models okay the following are the electoral models number one the independent model now independent model of electoral commission exists where the constitution gives the electoral body the leverage you know to be independent of the executive under this the body manages itself and runs its budget because you know the constitution has a provision for the autonom for its autonomy now they draw okay they draw funds directly from the frontline charge now by this they are not to always go to the executive or to the appointing authority cap in hand you know always for funds as it is the case with many countries of the world now this really helps the body to be truly independent but although they are appointed by either the executive or legislature or as it is the case in nigeria where the president appoints okay and the legislature ratifies this independent model is in practice in australia nigeria south africa romania canada india you know indonesia thailand you know and all that okay so the next one is branch model now this model of electoral commission is embedded in the constitution of the countries practicing it as an organ or branch of government the type this type of model gives the commission constitutional backing to operate as independent organ but charged with the responsibility of ensuring that election of all types are conducted with the great sense of impartiality impartiality justice fair play and they are also to provide a level playing field for all and sundry the branch model also guarantees independence of the commission because the commission will not be answerable or will not become a puppet of any arm of government now the commission under this model is referred to as the electoral branch and its members are appointed by either the executive or the judiciary examples of countries practicing the model you know this model are bolivia costa rica panama nicaragua and venezuela okay now the number three model is called mixed model mixed model now in a mixed model there is an independent board to determine who wins you know and who did not win an election this independent body determines the electoral system and also the voting system all policies concerning election are formulated by this board 
but the implementation or execution of these policies are done by the executive arm of government although with high sense of supervision from the independent board so it is clear that it is not only the executive arm of government that is responsible for the conduct of an election and this brings some sort of transparency to the system because the independent board will ensure that there is serenity probity and justice in the system countries practicing the mood this model are france cameroon germany japan senegal and spain the next one is called executive model now this is practiced in countries where the commission is directly and given you know is directed and given terms of reference by the commission by the cabinet minister the commission under this is a part of the executive branch of government and is and also is to ensure that elections are conducted as free and fair as possible but there's always the temptation of being corrupted by the executive because it operates and, and subjected and subject and it is it is operated and subjected you know to the vagaries of the chief executive of the country now the other arms of government check the activities of the commission especially the legislative and through other oversight function you know you know to ens ensure that there is justice and equity in the system examples of countries with this model are denmark singapore sweden Sw switzerland Tunisia and the United States. Now, the next one is judicial model. Judicial model. Now, the judicial model. Now, in the judicial model, the election commission is supervised, responsible, and accountable to a special court, which ensures that all elections in the country are conducted in a way that is lawful and legal. The standard of the election, as spelled out in the status book okay of the land must be followed you know to the latter so that electoral cases that will eventually go to court will be minimal if not completely non-existent now the judicial model of electoral commission is practiced in argentina brazil and mexico okay so so far i've actually talked about you know electoral models that are in practice in several countries of the world but before i even talked about the electoral models i looked at the electoral commission of countries so it is actually very important to note that the ele elections are not a tea party elections you know are not just walk in the park okay and that is why because it is a serious business that is why there is need for electoral commission to be put in place to ensure that the business of you know the business of election is properly managed in such a way that you know it is seen to be free you know and fair not just free and fair but credible as well so the electoral commissions are actually very important to a you know to a democracy this is because elections are you know elections as the central focus of democracy now it is actually the recruitment process okay that throw up leadership you know to a position of authority now if this institution is not actually well you know um, well structured and well managed or well established it is actually going to cause rancor in the polity and to bring about you know it will bring about a lot of you know a lot of crisis in a country practicing such you know a democratic system so electoral commissions are very important electoral commissions are very important and the electoral model okay by which the electoral commission is actually set up based on is also very important because the statutes book which is a grand norm or the constitution of the country is actually what is going to spell out you know how the electoral model of the country is going to be
okay so electoral commissions are actually very important and you know the electoral model too you know is actually what spells out you know um you know the type of elector electoral commission that will be set up or that will be established in country thank you very much